Welcome everyone to another episode of the Soviet Union in the Kaiserak mod. So guys, today what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to be influencing the Republic of China to our goals. Because I want to make sure that if I ever was declared war on uh, Japan, if I was ever declared war on Japan by again, I'd love to get China involved because then we have a good alliance right there. So, anyways, what we're also doing guys is I was checking to see if I have uh, any clergymen in this province and apparently I don't. All the clergymen must have been wiped out in the great clergy purge a couple years ago. Over here though it looks pretty strong so I'm going to remove the focus. Perm, I believe I'm going to have to keep clergymen here. Uh, yes I will. <laughs> um, and then over here Moscow, I don't think we need clergymen anymore so I'm going to remove it and we're going to move it down to Samara. Okay. And in total, what does our population look like? It seems like we have 2,000 capitalists, that's a pretty good decent, uh, about 202 clergymen, a couple different clerks, good amount of workers, good amount of farmers, good amount of laborers, good amount of officers, and a kind of okayish mark around soldiers. Uh, kind of want to kill off my aristocrats too, but that's something that's going to have to do on a later date. If only there was a purge button for aristocrats, that would be such a nice button, seriously. Uh, okay, so anyways, what we're going to be doing is trying to slowly but surely, first of all, let's get 1% taxes, 1% tariffs, I should say, in that. Let's also decrease this by about that much. This is doing good, this is doing good. And let us increase everything. Administration insulted. Eh, we can gain some prestige right now. Prestige is very important. Education efficiency. Good job, everyone. Good job. National focus too. What? Oh my goodness. The amount I could always see this is the amount of national focus I could get in this game is going to be is going to be impressive. Like I'm pretty sure I could. I, I feel like this game is going to set me up to be like having four at the end of the game, which I am perfectly happy. I am perfectly happy with having that many. Okay. And apparently, some more clergymen finished up what they're doing, so I'm going. Kazan is done. So command moved down to Tataria. Move down to there, and so is Kirkst. Let's move down to Kirkst. And who's Beckia? I thought we already got. So Ingria, we're gonna move down to there next. Get some clergymen. Get that religious. Well, actually, we don't believe in God. So um, get that social planning Bible communist manifesto done. Yeah. <laughs> really don't. Like, what would you call these? Like, what do you call these people if you're communists? Like, because those are technically, I, I always consider those were like religious people just like um, going to different places and setting up schools, but in our context, this doesn't really apply. So what do we call them? Like, inquisitioners, maybe? Maybe? Question mark? <laughs> I really don't know. But uh, we really, I, I don't really care about either, actually. I'm a Soviet. I don't... I don't care about anyone else but my good old fashioned genderism, residency, atheism, planned economy, and protectionism. Everything else I don't care about, okay? We are the Soviet Union. We don't care about those kind of stupid, petty, bourgeois ideals. Okay, and let us see. We have a decent amount of money coming in. That means I can, you know, slightly decrease the taxes on everywhere. I don't think I'll be able to get to uh, 95, well this got to 94, 95, 95, 96, 95, there we go, there we go people, you guys get to keep 5% of your income, you all should be very happy that I'm not going to any higher than that, and let's look at our factories that have already been built in our country, um, because we gotta remember that we're the ones who have to build these factories, because as we know, we're the only factory places in town, so... Yeah, we have to remember that. And let us see. Do we already have a synthetic oil place? Yes, we do. With a de wow, that's a decent like build up right there. Like you know, you got the ammunition factory, you got the small arms factory, then you got the fuel refinery. That's a really good build up right here. You know, here would be perfect for like an autobahn kind of place. Can we build autobahn? A cold fire station. Hmm. Might have to check that out at some point. But can we build electrical gears and all that kind of stuff? Yes, we can. I thought we couldn't, but we can. Yes. 
Okay, so let's see. What can we? Will be more effective. I think the radio would be most the most effective here. Radio, ammunition, glass. Autovan is tank and all this. You know, you know, for a pretty planned economy, I like this. This is actually not bad. Okay, I'm just gonna build that much. And this is, I think for the rest of these places, we could just kind of not upgrade them. Maybe this place. Let's upgrade our, our guns factory because that's going to have to be upgraded. But mostly, let's see, who has the most craftsmen available? Let's upgrade Skamash. Yeah, for most of these, I don't really have to care too much because most of these aren't really in the set. Well, aren't really in the section yet. Or aren't really in the stage of development yet. There we go. That's the way you should phrase it. The stage of development to be able to afford more factories. But Moscow has to afford as many factories as it can get. Because if it doesn't, then we have an issue. Then we have an issue that we cannot deal with. And I don't want to deal with that issue. Also, how is my fact how are my railroads going? We're going pretty good. I have like one province right here that's that doesn't have railroads, but I'm gonna fix that right now. And uh, apparently we have a little gap right here, so I'm going to uh, fix that quickly too. Let's quickly do this I did the very inefficient way but I'm fine with that I'm seriously cool with that people I'm fine with doing it the efficient inefficient way for a little bit and yeah we I think we can honestly just relax for a little bit I don't think we really have to do anything we don't really have to think about anything uh, did China become too big China became too big okay let's stop influencing China let's move on to somebody else Let's see, are you guys ever going to become a power? You guys could become a power, and that's too big of a risk for me to risk. Uh, you guys, Bulgaria, you're in the other sphere, so I guess it's back to South America to see who can I influence to become part of the communist, the communist revolution. And Peru seems to be like the most likely candidate. Yeah, it seems like no one's going after Peru. And Peru should be actually a well sought out province because it does have a, uh, it should have a gold mine here somewhere. I know it does because it's, well, maybe they switched around the resources here. Let's see. Famous province that everyone goes after in this game. Uh, Chanzo. Oh, I guess I guess they haven't discovered it yet. Oh, my goodness. Or the game. Or the mod maker took actual precious minerals out of the game. Did they? Hmm. Let's see. Does Alice Lorene have any precious metals? No, there's still precious metals in the game, but where are they? Okay. There's some precious metals over here in the Frenchlands. So... But there are none other in the world. How strange. Wow. This is a world without medals, everyone. Can I get to 90? Yes. All right. There, everyone. You guys can now only have to pay 10. Wait, wait. You only have to pay 90% of your taxes. Okay? That means that another 50% is going towards your... I mean, your 10% is going to your actual well-being. See, I am a nice Soviet Union leader. I definitely don't tax my people to the utmost. I tax, I tax them to 90% of the utmost. Which is a good distinction from those leaders that tax them to 100%. Because those rulers, they're just cruel. Well, I am a just and kind ruler. Okay, enough of the, bull, of the BS I'm spouting right now. Peru just got influenced to be more like me. And I'm looking at the German border right now. It's... Oh my goodness, they're weak. They're so weak right now. And if we, if I was to use everything I got against them, with the help of the French and the British again, we could possibly become, we could possibly overturn the entire government. Yes, and they finally annexed the last little thing I needed. Okay, good. Okay, and what else we should do is we should probably start building some aircraft stuff. One, two, three, four. We only need about eight, I think, in total. And then for tanks, I want to have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen tanks, so that means about four for each unit. Okay? That way it gives us our units a very good boost in morale and attacks. So that when we attack, we mean business. When we attack, we mean business. Okay. But now the Soviet Union is going through a very much calm phase. Oh my goodness, look how many national focus we have. Oh my goodness, this is like, 
This is like joy to me right now, people. I, I can't even tell you how much joy this is bringing to me. Okay, and we don't need to know army construction because army construction is honestly not that important. But let's see, you guys are done. Let's move that. And everyone else still needs to go. So let's move down to, to Soviet Tomsk. Let's get to Tomsk. 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 Yeah, it's Tomsk. Okay, and keep moving on. We just finished up our new technology. Uh, let's see, we should probably get some of this, you know, army stuff down because we are going to be probably the biggest, like, arm militaristic power in the entire game. Peru is now definitely our friend. <laughs> I do not look friendly to the, to the Germans at all, and I do not plan to be friendly to the Germans at all. Uh, you know what's sad though, is that even with this like great look, like even with these great start, we still seem weaker than the actual Germans are. I mean, the French are still weaker than the actual Germans. That's just kind of sad a little bit. We have to kind of fix that. Like, next one, we just gotta break them up and just, boom, destroy them. Plus, I'm also hoping that I get the Chinese involved who may or may not help us actually now that I look at their army. I was hoping by now they would have invaded uh, uh, these guys, but apparently they're also spheres. But what about Tibet? What about Zinzon? Oh wow, Japan just took over everything over here. Wow. Okay, never mind. Don't go after any of those places because they actually are pretty much feared by uh, more important people. I guess... I guess we could go after these guys too. Let's see, is, is that still influencing? Yeah, it's still influencing, yeah. Let's go after the Ottoman Empire because why the heck not? Okay, and Peru, welcome to the pack, everyone. Welcome to the Peru, welcome to the pack. Well, now the red joy has now spread all the way over there. And we look pretty powerful right now. Like, pretty powerful. At least in South America, we have very much influence. I am very happy of that. We are also losing money like crazy. Probably because we built a lot of tanks. And a lot more industrial sport than I intended to. But that is okay. Because we are in the modern times and... I can honestly fix that because I can honestly go more in taxes. And... Honestly, taxes help a lot. So let's do that just to make sure that we get what we need. Alright. And let's see, I don't want to go, try not to go above 9 taxes, tariffs, because we don't want to kill our industry, but we don't want to harm it either. But we're having kind of a double backlash because a lot of our factories require a couple of foreign goods. Hmm. This is definitely a conundrum, people, I will not deny. Let's see. Administration efficiency was basically at 100%, so let's see, that should curve it right there. Should keep us in a definite, somewhat positive zone. Let's see, there we go, there we go, no, 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 it's not going to work that way. Uh, there we go, wow, 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 let's just go to 80%, okay, there we go, wow. Yeah, my economy, man, that was like, oh my goodness. We're paying a lot for our troops, let's just say that. We're paying, the Soviet Union is sacrificing everything to make sure that we have good troops. Which, in this context, I don't think is very wrong. And the Ottomans, I'm hoping I can influence you guys to the point where you guys will not become my enemy in the, re in the new upcoming war between me and Germany. Which, I have to make sure that I'm going to see if I can maybe get less of a uh, truce with them yeah I'm gonna see if I can maybe get the total war annexation thing with like less infamy like maybe if I just like you know just get half of it and just get like 50% of that 35 that will only give me like maybe mm, oh gosh math mental math like one like 17.5 or something like that of actual like no, 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 wait, 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 that seems wrong to me, that seems wrong to me, it would be, no, 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 17.5 is right, 17.5 infamy, which is way much, way less than actually getting the full 35, which then I could actually still go and conquer and do stuff, and I believe with the Germans' might, and the Soviets' manpower, we're just going to crush the world, like, as soon as the Germans fall to our, to our hammer and sickle, 
no one is going to stand against us. And I'm just going to divide up all these guys into four equal, equal sized parts. Go divide you guys up amongst the, uh, amongst the men, amongst the four great armies. The four great armies of the Soviet Union. All right, no, you guys go right there. All right, there we go. And now all the armies are going to combine with their respective, with the respective roles. We got more digging. We're going to get commands, mechanized infantry. Oh, we're about to get mechanized infantry. That's going to be awesome when we get that. I wonder how good they are. I wonder how good mechanized infantry are in this game. Hmm. Only time will tell. And let's see. Back to the Ottoman Empire. Let's see. We're going to influence you guys to being a part of us. We're now friendly. That's good. That's good. The Ottoman, the Ottoman Soviet Union relations are, are doing fine. Are doing fine. That's good. I mean, we already have your next door of kin, the uh, Persians, but we're well, not kin, but I should say next door neighbors, the Persians. So it would be of a natural relationship if the Ottomans would also join us in a perpetual union. Plus, oh, I, oh, I should also get the Philippines too, just because it's the beeping Philippines and who that and who would not want them. I mean, they have a decent amount of military score too, so well, I'm, I'm not beginning. Like, who would not want them? And let's see, let's combine all you guys. You guys have decent armies, yes. Now that we have some tanks, some artillery, a lot of cannons, and a lot of airplanes, this is like good armies right here. I have a, I have good feelings about all these armies. Like these are good armies, guys. Like, really good. We could probably, and the weird thing is, is we could probably make this like eight armies in total and like send half of them to go into the uh, Japanese front. But, you know, Honestly, Japan's honestly not as important as the Germans are because the Germans, they're just scary, okay? The Germans, they're just scary. We have to wipe them out first before we start dealing with any of that. Okay, but let's see. If we were to declare war, it'd be a war between uh, Denmark, Sweden, Belgium, Netherlands, and Bulgaria. They actually have no one over here in China? Japan, wait, you guys broke your alliance? Oh, gosh. Oh, Japan, 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 Japan. Oh, my goodness. Hokudawa. Wait, I could claim that? Wait, what? Wait, how do I have a core on that? How? How do I have a core on that? I'm actually kind of curious. Wait, how do I have a core on that? Oh, my goodness. I could claim, like, all of Hokudawa. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh wow, that's really interesting. I should use that sometime. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go back to the Ottoman Empire. Add them to the sphere of influence. Okay, have them ally with me. That way they know who's boss. And now we have definite protection. We have a good buff. We have a good buff estate just in case if you know, the, just in case the British Africa tries to attack me. And the Spanish Civil War. Who will win? Spain or nationalist Spain? It looks like Spain. Definitely looks like Spain. And that is very slight different coloration to the point where I can't tell which one's which. So I'm going to go into this mode because this is way more helpful. Okay. So the Spanish Civil War just happened, everyone. And we're going to see who wins the actual war. Um, Most likely it's going to be, you know, Spain just because... Well, they have a good power base, and they also look way more powerful. Uh, they have... Comparatively, they have how many brigades? 41 to the other Spanish, nationalist Spain. Spain's, uh, 47. Actually, they're evenly matched. Wow. Th this is gonna be interesting to see who wins. Nationalist Spain or Spain. I'm... We should really keep an eye on that, because that could be really interesting to see who wins. Okay. Unless the Republic of China is still around, it's not going to be in my sphere though, that's what's sad. And we are almost to the point where the uh, Great War is about to end. So let's see, when do I can start declaring war? July 14th. One more year, guys. Actually, less than one year, we get to start doing core stuff with the Germans. Yay! And like I said, like I said, people, I'm going to just completely try to do a total annexation against the Germans. Oh, no. What? Oh, wow. 
Okay, was I not influencing? I was not influencing them at the time when they were in my sphere. Okay, okay, make sure with all my sphering nations. Oh, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.